talked to this guy who is because they own five hundred million dollars worth of uh, multifamily, and um, his chief operating officer. I got on the phone. She's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I feel like I know you." Um, but then that led into a conversation um, about. She goes, "You know, the one you know piece of advice that I think you guys will get more traction was to tighten up um, our process." I mean, you know, in the commercial world, and you know, that's the world I came from. Right. You go to market with that listing. You have definite timelines of when offers come in. You don't just take the first offer and hope to God that it works. And in fact, that first offer, you don't even present, you, you present the first offer, but on the commercial world, it's like the first guy you came in might be the last guy to buy, but not at that price. So you want to get some other people in there, maybe, maybe even less qualified people who drive up the price a little bit and get that qualified guy who offered 10% lower to stretch and get the deal done because you know, I was talking to these guys and they, they deal, you know, they trade multifamily stuff all the time. I'm like, well, we got this guy in at six and a half. He goes, well, I want him at a 5.75. I'm like, well, he's not going to offer that. He goes, yeah, because he's the only offer. That's when I was doing single family stuff in Chicago. That's how I did so well. So we're buying single family homes one at a time, but I put that commercial side to it and that commercial professionalism and I killed everybody because there's, there's a level that we can raise So that, and I'm actually, when we get off the phone, I'm going to do a video about this. Maybe we can use this video.